Uh, I had a breast reduction surgeon eight weeks ago. I was a treble D, mm, treble D before surgery, but now I'm still a D double D. The surgeon agreed B, but he removed only one pound in total. What should I do to reduce the size? Well, this is why I never agree the, 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 the size. So, you know, you say I'm a, I'm a treble D and I want to be a B. I'll be like, oh, I'll take that on board, but I cannot guarantee the cup size. Because the first question is, what about the back size? Has the back size changed? Because if your back size has gone down and your cup size has stayed the same, well, then that, that they're smaller. Um, because your back size shouldn't change. But just to be clear, your back size should not change when you're having a breast reduction. But often people are wearing the wrong back size pre-op and they get measured post-op with the right back size and they sun, they go to a smaller back size and a bigger cup size and all of a sudden they think they haven't um, had a reduction because the cup size hasn't gone down much. Don't know if I'm making sense there. So if they stayed the same size, so if you were something like a 34 double a treble D and now you're a 32 D double D, well pre-op instead of being a 34 treble D, you'd have been a 32 E or F. So you've gone from an E or an F to a D. -E. Does that make sense? I don't know if I'm making sense here, but um, the point is, it's very difficult to be too accurate about cup sizes. The bottom line is whether you feel like you're smaller and whether you're happy with the size of your breasts, not what size you are. It doesn't matter what cup size you are. It matters whether you're happy with the size. If you're happy with the size, great. If you're not happy with the size, not great. So um, I, I always try and get patients not to be too fixated on the, the cup size because it's very hard to predict. Um, so that's the first thing. I think it, I think you're on a on a on a. It's not good to agree with patients a cup size because it's impossible in my experience to go to uh, to predict the cup size. Uh, that's the first thing. So only remove one pound in total. Um, one pound's not not to is a fair, fair amount, I would say. Um, or, or you mean in total from both breasts? Or Anyway, whatever. Uh, uh, what should I do to reduce size? So, you know, the, often it's it's skin, it's a skin tightening process as well as a, a reduction of volume procedure. So often the lift is a main part of it, as well as reducing volume. Um, so... You know, the only thing I guess you can do now to reduce the size is weight loss. But I would always say to people, you need to really try and lose weight before surgery. So it's not ideal losing weight after surgery because they could droop. So it's not it's not great. But that's the only thing I could say that you could do to remove more volume. Uh, well, non-surgically, obviously, surgically, you could have liposuction. But again, they could they could droop because that would be just taking out some of the heaviness or another breast reduction, I guess. But that's a bit extreme. So, you know, there's the surgical options, but non-surgically, yeah, weight loss. The other thing is, you know, well-fitting bra and things. And again, these sorts of things are things it's probably best to look at pre-operatively, but uh, a well-fitting bra can help um, with a lot of the problems that people get when their the breasts are a bit big and heavy. Um, so that's one option. It, again, it's not reducing your breasts, but it might make things a bit more comfortable.